Hello, thank you for joining us. This week we're going to be in a part of Isaiah. We are talking about working through Advent, a season of expectation, looking forward to celebrating the coming of the Lord the first time and with true anticipation of his coming back again. So this week we're going to be in Isaiah because this week is a week of faith, love, those types of things. So we're looking at faith and love disciples this week. So we're going to be in Isaiah 35. Today we're going to talk about verses 1, 2, and Yep, just one and two. And it reads, The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the excellency of our God. Now, the point about this that goes back is that the wilderness is talking about our souls before Jesus. Our souls before we were saved. Our souls before we knew the gospel. Our souls before we knew all that he was doing and could do in our lives. Our souls before we accepted him. It was seen as a wilderness. It was seen as if something that was unruly and something that we just followed our thoughts and followed where we wanted to go. So today we we're thinking about it. They were talking about, they references to a time when Hezekiah was king. And when he was king, it was very prosperous during that time. And things worked out well during that time. So we are saying that what's coming for us is going to bring us, when Jesus comes into our lives, when Jesus comes into our hearts, when Jesus comes here for us, just like he came into the world the first time, and we anticipate his coming the second time. When Jesus comes and we allow him to come into our heart, the wilderness will be turned into a place of blessing, a place of hope, a place of plenty, a place of all of these things. But we have to move forward and step on it, step out, and enjoy it with faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. So today, we won't look back at the time when our souls were a wilderness. And even times when we've now when we fall and we realize we are in a wilderness. But we look around and say that we don't have to stay there. We should get up. Because yes, we shall see the blessings, the abundant blessings of the Lord reign and rule in our lives. Because Jesus is here. We look at Advent and saying he's coming. And yes, he is. But we're looking forward to his coming the second time. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.